So earlier today, we had a Mark III Golf dropped here for the junkyard. And honestly, I mean, this thing is a work of art. It's absolutely beautiful. There was a lot of time spent on this car. The custom work, like, it's cooler than the Pink Floyd. Definitely cooler than the Savoy. It's just an art piece, honestly. I'm not going to lie, though. I don't know if you're ready for this level of just straight beauty. The custom artwork on this thing is... <laughs> it's one of a kind, really. Like, when I pulled into it and I saw this... I almost scratched my car. It's just, it's beautiful. So without further ado, let me show you the coolest golf you'll probably ever see. But every time, it comes back to you. Whoa, I'm still falling. Whoa, but it tastes bittersweet. Whoa, I keep on falling. Whoa, I like the taste of it. So there you go the absolute one of a kind art piece mark three golf this thing is hilarious and i cannot believe somebody was actually driving around like like this like there's stickers everywhere there's this artwork all over it some of it's not terrible like they put a little bit of effort in some of these pieces the little troll face on it i don't know i thought it was funny when i pulled in i was like there's no way this is real there's just stickers everywhere I love the uh, the flames back here on the exhaust. And you got the white walls on it. And you got the open here for the gas tank. Yeah, someone put some, uh, some time into this between stickers and just painting things and a little bit of artwork. I don't know. I felt like everyone needed to see this. Got like the little cat eyes on the headlights. Everyone needed to see this. What's also kind of weird though, the inside of the car it has the blue seats, blue carpet, blue trim, but not the blue dash, but it also has the door cards and it has the early style door pins, but again, not a bubble dash. So I'm not sure what year this one is. Kind of a couple cool pieces on it. The blue's not bad. I might go through and get the carpet out of it and have another blue set and some of the trim pieces. Uh, two spoke steering wheel, kind of cool. Yeah, this thing is just like, just all types of weird. And then back here, you can see the speakers up here in the little tray, but look at the, uh, the quality wiring <laughs> just like it hanging down the side this thing's funny but it has all the blue back here too kind of beat up but i'm not sure why it doesn't have the blue dash yeah but i felt like everyone needed to see this this thing is just and someone was driving around <laughs> in germany with this like stateside like maybe florida i can see this but like on the german streets this is kind of funny it says across the thing i don't know this thing's funny there you go the most art project best looking mark three golf i've ever seen honestly i like the headlights though little cat eyes not a bad little touch oh man oh man oh man oh man honestly though i would love to get in touch with the previous owner and just ask him like why really and the car still runs starts up no problem that's right here Cross runs fine, uh, no AC. Has the bubble dash piece here, but still again, no early dash. It's like, this, it's a weird mix of like just pieces on this car, but I wanna talk to the original owner and be like, yo, like <laughs> what's going on here? So we are back home now. I have something super exciting to show you guys. If you remember a few weeks ago, we got the dual round headlights for the Pink Floyd, then went through a TriStar color and paint mask them to the electronic green. And for stuff out of a can, like it doesn't get much better than that. The 2K clear, the perfect spot on base coat color. 
these things came out absolutely amazing. I told you guys I reached out to TriStar Color, um, asked if they'd be interested in sponsoring the Pink Floyd built for more paint products because we still have a whole bunch of the paint match on this car. Uh, front lip, side skirts, rear lip, mirrors, uh, rear spoiler, mid spoiler, a whole bunch of stuff on this car that I want to also have paint match to the LD6T. Like I said, I reached out to them and thankfully they said yes, they are down to sponsor this boat, which is super cool of them and got something cool to show you guys today. All right, so unboxing my check. Let me grab the package. For it, wait for it. Bam! We got a big box from TriStar Color. So this is my first order from them. I think this will cover most of what I want to paint, um, but I have to probably do another order later on to finish up some more things. I think I want to do the subframe, uh, the rear beam, and, and then all the other accessories in the car, but this is so sick. So before we do that, let's just do a little bit here. Because we have some nice background, we have a nice beautiful color of this car. That'd be enough. All right, let's get into this big box full of paint products. And I think they sent some other goodies as well, which is very nice of them. It's kind of fun. I looked up this company. They're about an hour and a half away. So at some point, maybe we'll go visit the actual factory and see where all this stuff is made, which would be pretty cool. All right, boys, we're in. Let's see what we got in this big old box of goodies. Look at that. We got air freshener. So if you're not already, Trust the color, make sure you guys follow them. Show them some support. We got air freshers, maybe I'll give some of these away to you guys. We got some stickers, look at that. Hooking me up, out of the way, out of the way. Look at that. Look at that, just can after can, after layer of paint, just, oh, we're loaded up. So in this box, I have 10 cans of the LD6T to match the car, and then 10 cans of 2K clear to clear over whatever I spray, but this, is awesome. Let's open one of these up. Let me put you guys back right there. Don't fall, please. All right, we don't need to open all of them. We'll open up that one and make sure I'm not missing anything in here. There we go. Lots of paint. Lots of paint. Lots of paint. All right, I think that's everything in the box, I think. We'll put that down here and then we'll open up one of these. Bam, look at that. Uh, beautiful LD6 T and then this should be our 2k clear. Oh, actually this is another can of LD6 T So I have 10 of those and then 10 of the 2k clear wherever they may be. I'm sure they're in here somewhere Open another one. Let's see. Bam. This LD6 T on. Ooh, I love it again You guys saw out of a can like this stuff and look how nice it is straight out of the can, like I said, they have tons and tons of OEM colors. You just find your paint code, uh, send it to them, and they can get it to you in like an actual like paint gallon. Uh, you can get cans of paint. You have 2K clear. I mean, this stuff is absolutely awesome. And again, just look. This is factory. This is factory. This is what I painted, and there's just there's no difference. Absolutely amazing. Love their products. Super excited with them. Again, make sure you guys check out Trust Their Color. Give them a follow. Show them some support. This thing's gonna make the pink floor look so awesome. So one of my favorite things ever is having my shelf stocked with all the product I like to use and seeing this lineup right here, like this makes me so happy. Again, 10 cans of the LD6T, 10 cans of 2K clear. We had stickers, air fresheners, just look at the lineup. Again, massive thank you to TriStar Color. Uh, just, I appreciate the opportunity. Thank you guys so, so much. I look forward to more things in the future and I'm so excited just to see this entire car, all the pieces. I'm gonna redo the bumper, redo the subframe, all the lips, the side skirts, everything in this car, paint match with this product. And again, we know it's gonna come out amazing. I cannot wait. If you haven't already, please give them a follow, show them some support. That way in the future, I can work with them more and just do more awesome stuff like this. Cause again, I love the product. I said, even if they didn't sponsor me, I still wanted to use this stuff, but I either work with this company, have them on board for the Pink Floyd build. Now, something I just thought about, and I'm very curious to see if they can do it. And if it worked, I want to have them make me a can of LD6T, but instead of it being normal, like this coming out, I want them to make it like 50% transparent so I can go through and spray lights and match them to the car. I was going to have a guy do that for me, um, same process is making the green color more transparent. You spray over the lights and then it matches the car. But if I had the actual like LD60 and like literally matches the car, that could be pretty cool. So I'm gonna write them an email, see what they say if it's possible, which I mean, they make their own paint, so I assume it would be. I don't necessarily know how much transparency I'm gonna need, but I mean, these things aren't too hard to get. So a little trial and error, but it could be cool to be able to paint my own lights and match them to the car. So the plan now, since we have all this beautiful paint, again, trust our color, thank you guys so much. I'm just seeing this is so exciting but if you guys remember i already primered the hella spoiler for this car didn't have any more paint so today we have all this product let's paint something
right, my friends, we're currently in the basement and this is where all the painting happens. We painted so many things down here, including the door on headlights you guys just saw outside. So this right here is my hell spoiler for the pink floor. You can see it's already been sanded, then primer, then sanded again. It's ready for some paint, which we have right here, ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my suit on, put my mask on, and we're gonna start spraying. All right, give you guys one final look at the spoiler and primer. Got it all suspended in the air. Now I can spray the front, back, top, bottom, and not miss any spots. Yeah, this is your final look. Time to lay down some color. So I've gone ahead and finished all the base layers of color. Everything's nice and dry now. And this thing is looking really good so far. The electronic green, like I said, one of my favorite colors, hands down. But as good as it looks now, this right here, the 2K clear, this is where the magic happens. This is gonna transform this from looking good to looking absolutely amazing. I mean, you guys saw the headlights. It looks great right now in this just base color finish. But once the clear's on there and it's just glossy, I mean, it looks absolutely incredible. So it is now time for some clear. So the spoiler is officially done. This thing came out so, so good. So I'm gonna let it dry overnight. Tomorrow we'll come back and see how it looks. So I've got the spoiler here in my hand. I'm about to get outside and see in the light for the first time. Really do this color some justice. It's not super sunny today, but whoo, buddy. Yo, it just is so good. Electronic green never ceases to amaze me. This color is perfect. Rage on that beat going crazy. So needless to say, I am beyond pleased with how beautiful this spoiler came out. Same as the headlights, the color is spot on. It's super glossy. I mean, this thing looks amazing. I still need to go ahead and put the rear light back in. I haven't decided if I want a paint match or not. I'll leave it red. We'll just see on that. And then also get the new logos from Danny. But this thing came out amazing. Now, sadly, I can't put it on right now with leaving to go see a movie. But either tonight or tomorrow, we'll toss it in the car, get it all mounted up, and see how it looks. I think it's gonna be a beautiful touch to the backside of this car. So it's currently Saturday, just got back home and check out what we just picked up. Wait for it. Bam, look at this unit. Let me go ahead and pull it out real quick. This thing's a beast. All right, so what we have here, this here is a super sprint muffler for a Golf 3 variant. I think it might also fit the Vento because they have the longer back end. The ones for the Golf stop about here, but obviously with the variant being a wagon or the Vento being a sedan, it's just much longer in the back. So I think it fits both, but super cool score for very, very cheap. We're about two hours away picking up a cat for a friend today, and I always search each town we go to for parts just to see if we get lucky. And today, this was five minutes from the house we picked up the cat at. So super cool score, how to grab it. And then on the back side, you can see where it says, I am. I'm oh, sorry, Super Sport, not Super Sprint, but I think it's close to the same thing. Maybe it's different. I thought it was Super Sprint. Either way, Super Sport. Got us another little uh, muffler here, all polished up, and I'm pretty sure all this will polish up as well. I've always wanted an oval tip exhaust. Not sure what to do with it, but again, I like good scores. It was close to where we were, so picked it up. All right, boys and girls, it is finally time for putting the spoiler on. Get this beautiful girl uncovered. There she is. I say it every time, I will never get tired of this color. Never. It is, it, you, you've seen it, you know, you know, you know the deal. Electronic green is top tier. All right. Take all of this. I need an actual car cover for this car, but for now, the little towels here are doing a good enough job. Toss that in there. She's ready to go out. So this is actually the first time I've seen the front end of this car in the light. Look how good that looks. A few people said keep it with the black housing, but the paint match was 1000% the move. Now it's time for a spoiler. As always, we have the trusty Sigaflex. If you want to mount something to your car and have it never come back off, this is uh, this is your stuff. Here is our beautiful Hello Spoiler. And again, to see it in the light, I mean, the color is spot on. For being out of a can, 
It literally blows me away. Amazing stuff. I think I do it like this inside line. Yeah. Keep it from like scrape like switching out. Yeah, don't do like a crazy thick one because then it'll yeah, it'll sort of edges. Yeah. Just there you go. So the sun went down much faster than I expected, but still, look at this thing. Such a nice touch to the backside of the car. Still think I'm gonna do a mid-wing as well, but the spoiler on top, nice little touch to it. Still have to go through and have Danny make me the gel, some new uh, decals for this. But for now, we got that. We have the red brake light, and I might go through and try and paint this and match it to the wing as well, but we'll see. The red doesn't look bad. Such a nice touch to the back of the car. Wish I had a bit more light, but still you can see it enough awesome awesome touch little by little she's getting better and better dual rounds in the front we got our spoiler in the back and of course everything paint match big thank you to try our color for the awesome product making the pink floyd look better and better honestly i could sit here and just stare at this car all day and it's not even close to being done yet but this car is just the pink floyd's just cool this car just has such a cool factor to it i love it now obviously miley is my all-time favorite car but the pink floyd this thing, it's cool. Like I said, it's just a cool, cool car. So now for my favorite part, we gotta push the Pink Floyd back into the garage. Honestly, I should just put a winch on that back wall, hook it to the tow hitch and just drag the car back when I want to. It's not a bad idea. I need to see how much winches are. But for now, we gotta push her. All right, back in the garage once again. Yeah, for sure. Winch on the back wall and we can just drag the car in. We tried to use the four wheeler, but she didn't have enough power. There she is under the lights. Actually, let's see under the light. We have to go through once it actually dries and just get rid of the uh, single flex that kind of squished out. But overall, the spoiler looks money. So I think with that, gonna end the video here. The Pink Floyd is covered up and put away until next time. And again, if I haven't said enough, massive thank you to TriStar Color absolutely hooking it up we got paint we got clear just tons of product thank you guys so so much if you haven't already give them a follow the products are awesome the headlights are matched perfectly the spoil looks beautiful just thank you guys so so much hope you guys enjoyed this video do not forget to be thankful for every single day we'll see you guys next time peace